for today. Now we're starting to see that here as well. So another tornado warning there now until 445 there for DeWitt, Logan, and Macon counties. That is just to the north and east of Latham there. So uh, pretty interesting to see all these storms now finally to started to do this and close to sunset too. Uh, we figured that it was going to happen sometime before sunset and boy howdy they are starting to do that as well right now. We've got those storms down at the south too that we're watching uh, closer to Edinburgh and Kincaid not too far from Taylorville but the main focus right now is still that one just to the north and west of Decatur there near Austin and Latham for that tornado warning that's still in effect until 445 for DeWitt, Logan and Macon County. Again, We've watched this storm already produce a few funnels. We had that, them on air already. And so we're still uh, keeping an eye on these storms as we're progressing through the afternoon and evening hours. Kevin? Okay, uh, so I've, I've got our camera uh, pulled up here um, from Decatur. Again, we're looking now north and west. There's that funnel again that is uh, kind of showing up that the Jacob is on and we're seeing it there uh, show up on our camera. It is very small, um, but there is some rotation with that. Uh, that obviously is a showing up. And so um, let's go from that shot over to Jacob's shot here right now. If we can, we'll go back over to Jacob's shot. Um, he is looking at it again right there, kind of on the uh, center right part of your screen, getting ready to go behind some of those trees there. But it's it's a funnel that continues to kind of dip down. It's there for a moment, and then and then it kind of goes back up. And so we, we hope that it uh, doesn't uh, reach the ground again. We have not heard reports of any damage, but there is a, there is, continues to be a clear sign of some rotation and that uh, funnel kind of coming up and down, up and down as this now travels to the north and east. It is located. Now, northwest of Warrensburg, Warrensburg, you're in the clear from this storm itself, uh, just rolling through uh, Latham now and going to be heading uh, between Maroa and Kinney. So now you're going to be looking at portions of DeWitt County that are now under this uh, tornado warning uh, as this storm has produced multiple funnels already um, and, uh, you know, can go from not being on the ground to being on the cr uh, ground pretty quick. Uh, we'll come back over to Max 2 with our, our view from, from our weather camera indicator. This is our, our, our camera shot here that we've got. And you can, again, kind of it's going to be right behind the, uh, the, uh, the, the tower there that's uh, located. That's where the funnel is kind of passing behind right now. Let's see if I can zoom in even more on this and just kind of see it again. It's kind of moving across. Uh, you've got what we call some scud, um, some lowerings there, but uh, that is, that's your funnel that uh, Jacob has kind of been watching and it has been on um, here over the last uh, 20 minutes or so and why the tornado warning is still in effect. You're looking at that live view right now from our camera in Decatur as we look to the north and west. It's going to be northwest of Warrensburg right now and just passing through the Latham area is where that to potential tornado is. Uh, we'll just kind of zoom it out because you can see we're, we're, we had to zoom way in here to kind of look at, at that storm. Just look how far out we are, but our camera can zoom in on this. And we had, it's looking like a, trying to find a needle in the haystack there sometimes, but we can get right in on that with the, uh, the, the zoom on our camera. So we're just kind of watching that there. You're going to want to be taking shelter there in Moroa, in Kenny, anywhere between Moroa and Kenny right now, right on the county line. Um, is where you're going to want to be. There's probably a little bit of hail associated uh, with this as well. We're seeing that north and east of Latham, and that storm is going to continue to move off to the north and east. Uh, the Weather Service again uh, did report um, the confirmed tornado that was near Iliopolis earlier. That was the first uh, confirmed report that we had and, and what uh, spawned the tornado warning actually getting issued. And so now we're just kind of watching. We're kind of seeing it lose itself just a little bit there in terms of the uh, the funnel that was once visible, but we're going to just kind of keep watching it uh, very carefully. See what uh, Jacob is seeing out there as well. I'm going to switch it back over to the radar view here real quick because I want you guys to kind of uh, see where, again, this is located, who is under the gun. We have to zoom way in here on our storm. Extreme northwestern portions of Macon County right now. Uh, it's going to be northwest of, of Warrensburg uh, near the Austin area, and that's going to head right into southwestern portions of DeWitt County, west of Moroa, and then heading eventually uh, crossing Highway 51 and towards Clinton. So it is looking
up and down on. There's definitely motion. I mean, I can see on the back side of the straight to my left what appears to be you know, air kind of rushing in behind this. Well, maybe briefly. So again, uh, Jacob shot out there. It's going to come in and out there. If you've ever been out into some of the rural portions there of, of Logan County and in, in, in the Macon County there, you're going to uh, hit some bad cell phone spots there. But uh, We'll be checking back in him with him. He's uh, he's in a good spot there, visually able to kind of see everything. The storm's moving at uh, a fairly slower speed uh, compared to sometimes these things can be racing at you know 50 miles an hour. Was, this one moving at a very reasonable 30 miles an hour to the north and east. So it's doing a couple things. It's allowing us to keep up with the storm, and it's allowing you to have a little bit extra time to take shelter uh, because it is moving a little bit slower. Um, but if you're in Morrow right now, you are under a tornado warning. Northern and northwestern portions of Macon County is where the highest concern is located. Going to be crossing over uh, 51 here in the next uh, 10 minutes or so. So if you are right there on the DeWitt and Macon County line, you definitely want to be taking shelter uh, because this storm could produce another quick funnel here at any time. And um, that's kind of what we're concerned about because we've already had this thing Still seeing some motion with it, nothing as organized at this point. Um, you know, there's definitely some scud clouds and some low rings here and there. It's uh, still, I think, worth following and worth taking shelter, especially Moreau. I can see Moreau off in the distance over there. Uh, this is uh, just a short distance away from there. So we're going to keep following this storm. I've been kind of keeping my eye on the storms behind me as well, seeing some uh, perhaps weak rotation developing on those storms down to the south and west of here. So we'll be keeping our eye to the sky and the storm tracker and we'll continue to follow the storm. And Kevin, so let me know if there's uh, any directions you want me to head from here. Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, I think you're uh, you're on that storm there. We'll, we'll keep you there for now. Um, those other storms we are going to be watching. You can see these other cells here. Of course, we're going to be losing daylight here in the next day, in an hour or so. Um, so it'll be a little bit more difficult uh, to, to see some of this. But I, we are watching these. Uh, this storm had some dime and nickel size hail on it um, near uh, Pawnee a little bit earlier. Then we go uh, back up here south of west of Mount Auburn. Little cell there that we're watching. Uh, but the one that is currently tornado warned is the one that is up here west of Moroa. So you should still be in your tornado safe spot if you are up in Moroa right now and west of Highway uh, 51 on our storm there. That can, continues to travel to the north and east. Could have some hail in there as well. 
Um, the Weather Service is talking about those other storms to the south and west. Uh, they have not issued any warnings, but uh, something considered a special weather statement on on that. Um, so, we, which basically is kind of the uh, the next. Uh, you know, the thing that they do before they put out a severe thunderstorm warning is, is a special weather statement. So it's kind of like, okay, it's a strong storm, not quite meeting the criteria yet. So we got to watch those and they're starting to strengthen just a little bit more. So we're going to carefully be monitoring those as they come into western portions of Macon County. But right now, uh, Maroa and eventually down the line, as that crosses Highway 51, uh, getting up into the Clinton area here, it's going to be a close call there um, as far as the, that storm as it kind of rolls in. Let's see here, repositioning maybe some of our cameras and see if we can see anything else here from our Decatur camera. Not seeing a whole lot. Again, just in the past, you know, 10 minutes, we've just had a little bit less of that uh, organization of the storm. There was a clear funnel uh, that we did have earlier uh, that we were showing you live um, on TV when Jacob was out there in the storm tracker that was uh, kind of halfway to the ground. Um, and we, when we had that storm kind of coming through the area, but right now we're not seeing those, those same things. And, and it looked a little bit more ominous earlier, but uh, it's trying to reorganize a little bit. Uh, that's something to, to keep an eye on here with this. This will go from you know, not looking like anything too impressive to once again having some rotation. Uh, and there might still be something there north of Warrensburg that we're going to want to watch. Let me see if I can switch things over to our velocity mode. That's going to allow us to kind of look at some other aspects of this. And so it's in that area right there uh, where we've got something. And I think Jacob there on his live stream is starting to see another little funnel possibly trying to um, um, develop. And so he is kind of traveling uh, north towards that. And so right here uh, where you've got those little pixels that you see there and on Jacob's stream, if we can come over to my uh, the quad wall over here and we're going we're gonna to see this kind of coming right there north of Warrensburg. And so a little bit of a lowering right here, maybe another little funnel that's trying to develop um, right there. So there is what it looks like in terms of where the rotation is north of Warrensburg. Let's go back to Jacob's shot on that again, because um, I want to show his live shot there because he's coming right at this thing where there would be a potential lowering we get around some of those trees, it's kind of coming there. So it is right there. You've got this little funnel that maybe is trying to get going once again. And that is the reason for the continued tornado warning. This is the wall cloud, okay? This is spinning here, okay? This is what is rotating and could potentially produce a tornado. Looks like in some rural areas there, north of Warrensburg, as uh, passing by some of those wind turbines in that area. And so that is the area of concern. Uh, Jacob, uh, what are you seeing right there right now where you are? I know possibly your your signal is kind of going in and out on us. If we're going to try to, I just want to hear um, from your perspective as you're kind of right there with that. It does did look like that funnel was trying to form there. And again, I know your shot's going in and out. Um, we'll try to talk to him there. And if, and if, he, uh, if he fades away, then uh, we'll just keep rolling here. But again, I know you're kind of out there in the thick of it right now. Uh, Jacob, if you can hear us, kind of tell us what you're seeing there right now. Looks like some scud and some, um, a little bit of rotation they're trying to develop. Go ahead. Yeah, Kevin, you, you know, first I want to say uh, back behind the scenes, there's a photographer in the studio who's working on getting us access to that footage. Uh, so I know our, our assistant news director, Maggie, she's working on organizing that. So be ready to re-air that, what we saw earlier. I'll say this. This storm is interesting to me right now. And, and in fact, um, did I hear that correctly? We're on the video? Earlier, okay, so that's, that's, let's make sure we clarify earlier. that. Yeah. Yeah, the shot yeah, that's yeah, on that our screen right now. We were down to, uh, towards Iliopolis and watching the storm here. Uh, I will say a storm in particular, and I think the storms behind me. They're acting more like supercell thunderstorms here. I can see an overshooting top and an anvil. That's just a sign that there's a strong updraft with these storms. They're tapping into the instability here. And uh, so, you know, not surprised with, not surprised with what we are, are dealing with here. It seems like maybe the cloud 
me here. I'm driving back to the east, snaking my way towards Maroa. But still, there is motion in the clouds. I can see uh, wrapping around to the back side. So some rotation, not as evident as earlier with this particular storm. So uh, now we're heading to the east. I don't have a good vantage point, so I'll get to the top of this hill and uh, take a turn here real quick. But uh, it does seem like perhaps the base of the clouds, the base of the storm, getting slightly higher. It's becoming slightly more elevated. Still, though, I can see uh, evidence of at least some rotation here, and it might be a little bit before I can get that turn here, so we'll continue to watch. Okay, Jacob, uh, you're losing a the signal there. We do have a new tornado warning I need to tell you guys about. This is a brand new one, and this is now southeastern Sangamon County into Christian County. Now, new tornado warning here uh, going to be west of the uh, Inberg area and uh, heading to the north and to the east. And so this is your rotation on it right there, okay? We got the new warning. It's going to be crossing over Highway 29 in the next few minutes as it goes to the north and east. Uh, eventually, down the line, you're talking about Mount Auburn. You want to be on the lookout there, uh, the Breckenridge area there along 29. And so that's your rotation on the storm and something that we definitely are keeping an eye on now. So we've got two tornado warned storms, two different storms uh, with tornado warnings associated with them. Uh, the one that has uh, definitely been producing funnels uh, is the one up now into northern portions of Macon County, heading into DeWitt County. But now this is a whole different warning for Christian in Sangamon County until 5 p.m. And so you can see that polygon area, that red box indicating uh, who is under the gun that's going to come uh, south of Mechanicsburg and may eventually cross Highway 72. But right now, the rotation on that is located basically right there to the uh, west of the Edinburgh area and going to be crossing over Highway 29 in the next few minutes as the movement on this one is also to the north and east.
can and may very well produce another tornado at any point here. And if it does, we'll be following it. I also want to mention, Kevin, I think we should treat every tornado warning at this point as if it's one like we saw in Moroa, like we brought you on TV uh, with that damage on the ground. As long as you're taking shelter in those tornado warning areas, I think you'll be okay. These are not the significant, you know, huge type of tornadoes that you see on the Great Plains, but still they're damaging. If you're taking shelter, you're doing the right thing. That's the first lightning bolt I've seen in a while here, Kevin. I also wanted to mention not a lot of lightning with these storms. As the sun goes down, we may very well have issues spotting much more. Uh, the lightning not being friendly to us now with this. Uh, so that's a concern for us here. I do know also news is on the way to Moroa and I may at some point, Kevin, call the chase if it gets too dark and backtrack back to Moroa to uh, meet up with them and report on the damage that's there. So that's what's going on here. And uh, we'll continue to watch this. I still see motion in front of me. It's more steady and ragged in nature, but that that does not mean this storm is done. It's pulsed up, pulsed down, pulsed up, and may continue to do that for a while longer, as long as we've got this instability in place, Kevin. Live northeast of Moroa, now moving into DeWitt County. We'll send it back to you, Kevin. Yeah, there's still a little bit of instability that is left out there for these storms to, to kind of tap into, but that will wane pretty quickly after the, the sun sets here and you lose kind of that energy. But um, it is still of major concern, uh, multiple storms that we are tracking right now that have rotation on them. Um, again, this storm now that we have is coming into uh, the lane area uh, along Highway 10 in lane. That's the, the biggest concern that we've got as this was the storm that we were just showing you 10, 15 minutes ago that did produce a tornado. So that's Highway 10 there. Uh, as you come out of Clinton, again, Clinton, you're, you're, you're not under the gun for this, um, but between DeWitt and Weldon, you, you definitely need to be, because right here's some of that rotation, okay? And it's gonna pass here um, somewhere between DeWitt and Weldon as it continues to go to the north and east. Uh, here's Highway 48, so 48 and 10, of course, that is in Weldon. Uh, this is a, is, a, is a large concern that you've got in this area, but let's go back to some of the other spots that we, we need you to obviously keep a close eye on, and that is going to be over towards the Mount Pulaski uh, area, um, and that storm is literally right on top of Mount Pulaski right now and still showing signs of, of, of rotation um, on it. And that's going to be continuing to head to the north and east. And so that may clip kind of western portions of DeWitt County. The one before that uh, hit the southern portions of DeWitt County. Um, so now again, we are watching that storm. Here comes another one that's down into Christian County. Uh, that's going to be coming into the Mount Auburn area. So we've got Mount Auburn, Mount Pulaski, um, both areas seeing rotation close to those um, to those general areas. And all of these move to the northeast in a 25 to 30 mile per hour uh, range at this point. And so what we're going to do is kind of back things up. Look at the just the view here of how isolated these storms are. There's a lot of real estate not getting hit, Champaign and Danville and, and Effingham and whatnot. But you've got just these little isolated cells that have developed, have been showing decent signs of rotation on them and continue to do so here at this hour. Um, you can see there is the storm now right along Highway 10, possibly some hail there near Lane. And that's going to, looks like it's going to pass there between DeWitt and Weldon and where that rotation is still located on our storm here. So you need to obviously be into that tornado safe spot here. And uh, I, again, Jacob just said that we are getting, we are sending a crew over towards Moroa where we've had uh, some damage out there. And um, Adam, these storms have a small window still left where we could still see some, uh, some rotation on some of these. Yeah, Kevin, uh uh, Jacob's been talking about it. You've been talking about it. And I mentioned it before we even got on air that really that there's a tight window here. We're going to lose a lot of that instability we've been talking about all day long as we go into sunset. So there's a small window for this happening and it's happening right now as we're getting closer and closer to sunset. Sunset actually over with already, but we still have plenty of daylight here in central Illinois. 
and we're going to see less and less of that daylight. So that's really what's going to be one of the things that kind of qualms some of that capable or the instability. But we're still watching these cells because that doesn't mean that the storms are necessarily completely done. It just means that we're cutting off that feed, what's feeding them and continuing for them to grow in the environment. Again, this environment has been uh, pretty wild here for today. We've not only seen one or two cells, we've seen three little cells that have already had tornado warnings on them and two of them have already had produced uh, funnel clouds and even tornadoes at times. We saw the one earlier in Maroa there that Jacob caught and we've seen uh, heard reports of other ones there towards Mount Plaskai as well. So we're going to continue to watch these storms as we go on. Again, this environment, once we saw the sunshine, really got amped up here for these storms. We had plenty of shear and our source of lift is out towards the west. That cold front pushing in will bring colder temperatures here in the near future. So that's something we're going to keep an eye out for uh, is how this is going to play out as we go over in a time. Again, a very tight window with the daylight here. We're still playing with that. It's really, really in the middle of winter. We have to watch out for the daylight here. We don't get as much as we would later in the season as we go into May, June, July. That's when we start seeing longer days. Therefore, we have longer events, but this one could start to taper off a little bit or these storms could continue on a little bit longer. But again, the main feeding tube, the instability, that's going to be cut off here pretty soon as we get later and later into the evening hours. Kevin? All right. Uh, thanks a lot, uh, Adam. Appreciate it. So, so again, these storms still are showing signs of rotation on them uh, going here to the north and east. Uh, if you're in DeWitt right now, you need to be in your uh, tornado safe spot uh, uh, because that storm still has some rotation on it. And it's something that we uh, are still concerned that these storms uh, could still kind of get going here. I'm going to put a little bit of a loop on all of these here. I'm just going to do this over the last uh, kind of 15 minutes uh, or so, or last, uh, let's say, half an hour. And you can see that storm lifting to the north and east. I know you may be saying, okay, hey, there's Farmer City down the line. Yeah, we're going to be watching there between DeWitt, Weldon, and Farmer City, all of those locations that are under the gun. Uh, Farmer City, you're technically not in that tornado warning, uh, but we'll see what uh, the Weather Service decides to do to carry that on. Let's look at these other storms because, again, we've got, so there is a new warning here that just got issued. So now this is going to be a new warning for western portions of Macon County as they're carrying on that uh, storm there in Christian County. So we got another tornado warning in effect now uh, coming out of Mount Auburn. This does include the southwest side of Decatur. The southwest side of Decatur, um, you are... Definitely under the gun with this, something to uh, definitely monitor, keep a close eye on as that storm kind of comes uh, crossing over Christian County and into western portions of Macon County. We're going to have to definitely see what we can see on that one. The problem that we are going to start to get is it's, it's about to get dark. Um, and when it gets dark, it makes it very difficult to see. Um, any kind of, uh, you know, tornado at nighttime, especially when there's not a lot of lightning, which there actually has not been a ton of lightning uh, with these storms. And so sometimes at night, you know, you can have the, the clouds will kind of light up um, with lightning. You can kind of see some structure to the storm, but we don't have a lot of lightning here with, with these storms. And so that uh, becomes a little bit of a concern of being able to kind of see some of the stuff here at nighttime. But there is our, our new tornado warning that is in effect for Christian and Macon County. And that goes until 5.30 p.m. That does include Harristown and Booty and the southwest side of Decatur. So we've got that storm. Um, let's see. Uh, this one doesn't look as impressive. The one coming out of Mount Pulaski. We'll see if the Weather Service continues on the uh, tornado warning on that one or not. Uh, from what I can tell, probably not. So we're going to have two different storms that we're watching and we're still seeing some signs of rotation on the storm that is now kind of west of Weldon. I'm going to switch back over to that storm. We're going to come off of that one. And so here's our storm that, that we showed you earlier. Um, so now it's going to be coming right along Highway 10 between DeWitt and Weldon. Got to cross over Highway 48 before too long, kind of ride right there south of Highway 54 and move to the north and east. So Farmer City, just kind of be on the lookout here down the line with that storm. And then again, the newest one coming into Decatur. I've got a camera view from our, our, our Decatur camera as we're going to be looking into that storm. And as I mentioned, it's going to start to become a little bit more difficult to see anything. We're kind of looking into that storm that is uh, well to the west of Decatur as of right now, but heading in that general direction 
here in the next uh, 20 to 30 minutes or so. And you can see the dark area there that is going to be your heavy, heavy rainfall. Uh, so we're, we're always kind of looking into sometimes that, that rain free base of the storm for sometimes a little funnel uh, to develop. And so we're going to be watching that carefully as that storm comes into the west side of Macon County here in the next half an hour. Again, we are going to be coming up um, on the five o'clock uh, hour here in just about uh, two and a half minutes or so as we continue to bring you uh, severe weather coverage, multiple storms with multiple tornado warnings that we've got right now. Still concern on our storm here that is going to be south of DeWitt. Again, we had some reports of, of damage that we showed you live on the air as this uh, tornado did touch down near Moroa just um, Oh gosh, that would have been about a, a 25 minutes ago or so. Um, and that same storm is what you're looking at here. And I got to tell you, this one's trying to ramp up again. So we need to be watching things there west of Weldon. West of Weldon right now and right along Highway 10, ramping up just a little bit. I'm starting to get concerned again that this could start to put down another tornado between DeWitt and Weldon, right there along Highway 48. You're looking at it right there. It's literally kind of sitting right along 10. Um, so many people have been, have obviously been traveling between Clinton to Weldon there, and of course, uh, 10 that comes all the way uh, eventually into Champaign. And so, you know the stretch of road that is there. Uh, if you've drove it to, you know, uh, you know, dozens and hundreds of times before you live in that area. If you're on 10 between Lane and Weldon, that's not a place where you want to be right now, nor is it a place you want to be there along Highway 48 between the uh, DeWitt and Weldon area as well, because that storm is moving to the north into the east. So rotation is located right here and is going to be lifting to the northeast and this is an area of concern and uh, I'm still seeing some of that rotation on this so definitely that tornado warning is continuing down the line again just want to give you guys kind of a heads up there farmer city this is still you know quite a bit from you but just kind of want to give you guys the heads up and rural portions there of well, northwestern um, kind of portions there of even Pyatt County there, you're going to want to be on the lookout for that as well. So that storm there that we're watching, the other one here coming into the west side of Macon County, where we've got tornado warnings that are still in effect there, Niantic to Harristown, and again, coming uh, to the southwest side of town of Decatur, you need to be in your tornado safe spot as our tornado warning does continue there as well. So we are coming up here right at the top of the hour at uh, 5 o'clock. Uh, we've been in now severe weather coverage here for about uh, 90 minutes or so. Um, the earlier storm that we were tracking was one that actually came here near Moroa. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to back up our radar here just a little bit and kind of show you what we were looking at on radar. That was the storm at about 4.27 p.m. Look at that storm really strengthened southwest of Moroa. And then you're going to notice right here, you see this little area right here, a little bit of an uptick in what we call the reflectivity. That is where the tornado started to form. And you're going to see here on the next frame of this, as this goes up, um, you're going to have that tornado that did form. And there it was on the northwest side of town there on the radar. Now we've got video from that tornado from earlier. If we can pull up the video from the tornado from earlier, is this kind of clipped northwestern portions of Macon County? Uh, there again is going to be the view that we had. This again was earlier. This was about 4.37 or so p.m. Um, when uh, Jacob was out there in the storm tracker. And you can see some of the damage there off in the distance. You can see some of the debris. Look at the debris that was being lofted into the air. You're seeing it there right in the center part. You see that? Um, some, some silos there. Um, as you can see right there. Look at that. Uh, some roofing being lifted up. That was earlier as the tornado did touch down there on the northwest side of Moroa. And that was, again, uh, just about a half an hour, a little bit uh, less than a half an hour ago. And that was right along and close to Highway 51 when that did occur as it lifted to the north and to the east, creating that damage. So it kind of clipped there, right there. Of course, Highway 51 is right there on the west side of Moroa. And so this one went right across on 51 and there's damage there. Right now, I believe we have Jacob Dickey who is uh, got a live shot. He's right next to it. I know Jacob is, again, this is you know developing here as we speak. He's just getting back on scene. Um, and, and Jacob, you're near some of that damage right now. And looks like they've got some, um, some, some equipment out there trying to remove 
some of that from Highway 50. Let's go and take that full, guys, um, if we can. Let's take that full. And uh, Jacob is there. Um, do we have Jacob? Can Jacob hear us? Hey, Kevin, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yeah, I got you there. So, um, Kevin, what, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. What are you looking at there right now? So, Kevin, that damage you just showed from the farm is this farm on top of the hill. Uh, lighting is getting a little bad, but you can see the corner of that shed there. It's been uh, pretty much mangled up here. And uh, there are some people investigating up there right now of what is going on. There's debris on that power line. That's on top of the hill. The tornado pushed these two big silos then right onto US 51. And that's where we're at here on the northwest side of Maroa. Uh, this is that subdivision then across the way here where folks are out and about investigating the damage here. Uh, you can see there's a fence that got hit. If this was about a half mile further to the south and east, Kevin, this would have sliced right through the middle of town. Still, though, a couple of structures have been hit. It stayed just on the northwest side here. Uh, people still investigating what has happened. These are live images, raw footage that we're bringing to you right now here, uh, only on Channel 3 are we out here right now in the storm tracker showing you what has happened. I do want to mention, the, uh, I talked to a firefighter and he just real quickly said, yeah, there's, it's an active scene. They don't have any information. US 51 at this time, traffic is halted as they move the uh, move the debris. The fire department has it blocked there and is keeping an eye on it, of course. Uh, traffic on the northbound lanes is getting by, but there is still uh, plenty of debris on the roadways as we are sitting here now in Maroa live at 5 o'clock. Uh, so we're going to sneak through here in a minute, and then, Kevin, when we get back, we're going to uh, send it back to you. Uh, we're going to try and get to that farm that got hit and see what's going on up there as the damage continues to uh, become Un, you know, we're finding out what's happened here in Maroa. Live in the Storm Tracker, I'm meteorologist Jacob Dickey. We'll send it back to you. All right, thanks a lot, Jacob. Uh, great reporting out there, showing us the damage. Again, this was on the northwest side of Maroa. So I want to show you guys this again. So this is where the tornado was earlier. That's 4.37 p.m. We were right there on the storm, bringing you live coverage of it. It clipped there. And what Jacob was talking about, if this was uh, a mile south and east, you're putting that right through the middle of Maroa. It clipped on the northwest side of town there and uh, continued to travel off to the north and east. So now let's put this to where things are right now because that storm is now all the way up near the Weldon area, okay? And the tornado warning continues between Fullerton and, and Weldon right now along Highway 58. That right there is where there's still some of that rotation and uh, we are definitely still concerned about this. So um, this storm is not done just yet. And so this is now going to be lifting to the north and to the east. And the potential is there for that to go towards Farmer City. So we're going to have to watch that uh, very carefully as that storm continues to move in. Again, some grain bins there that were damaged uh, right there along Highway 51 that Jacob was showing you there um, that is going to be uh, near Maroa. So I'm told that we've got some other video here from um, earlier we want to show you. And that video is going to be in Watch Us. We've kind of highlighted that, far that farm there that got hit. Watch the debris. That See that debris that's getting uh, lifted there into the air from that tornado? And so th that, again, was what we were looking at earlier. Watch it again. You can see the rotation. You can see the the, the, the debris that's uh, right there on the ground. You don't see the clear funnel a lot of times, okay? You don't see that, but so you get a tornado. You don't always have that tornado connected right to the base of the cloud, but that is obvious rotation that did reach the ground. That's the damage there, and you can start to see some of that uh, kind of getting obscured a little bit, the, the dark area there, uh, but that farm area, uh, that farm right there did obviously get hit, and um, Jennifer Roscoe is here with us here as well, and uh, Jennifer, um, these can storms, yeah. Can we go back to taking J Jacob's camera? Yeah, sure. Right no. now, just because I have something to say about this. Marley Capper also headed out there. She talked to Justin Root, who's the administrative assistant to the coordinator for Macon County Emergency Services. He said, obviously, the main concern, northwestern side of Maroa, that silo down, which we're showing you, they're cleaning up there. Uh, no reports of any injuries as of yet. Strongly advising people to shelter in place. Do not travel. That is what you've been telling people for 90 minutes now. Uh, the sheriff is out at the silo. Has IDOT coming to clean it up. Emergency services are available. So if you need help, they are there to help you. Uh, this is what they train for. This is what they plan for. So it is all hands on deck right now uh, around Maroa. Yeah, you're seeing uh, the crews that are out there again. I, 
boy, if this again was another mile or two to the south and east, this would have ripped right through the middle of Moroa there. Is um, there something in the tree yeah, there? Yeah, so up in the tree there, you can see, um, I don't know if Jacob, uh, you can zoom back in. There you go. Look up in the tree there. That's going to be some kind of roofing possibly from, uh, again, I'm, I wasn't sure if it was a grain bin or a silo, um, um, one of the two, uh, but that's obviously some kind of roofing material there uh, that is up in into the tree as he kind of pans around. You can see the path that that took and then crossed uh, right there over 51. More of that uh, sheet metal there that is alongside the highway where they've been out there, uh, you know, removing that debris off of the side of the road. Again, right there on the northwest side of town, where you can see, um, I mean, there it is right there. Um, large uh, piece uh, of metal there that uh, was tossed from this tornado that uh, moved through right there at around uh, 4 37 p.m. earlier. You can see the sun is now setting. It's going to be a little bit more difficult, but out um, there into some of the fields, some of that debris that is located there as well. We are right there on the storm bringing you live pictures and images of this. Uh, we showed you the tornado as it was occurring and then as it crossed over 51 and as the damage was happening, uh, you can see some other kind of metal there. And so we're going to we're going to lose the lighting here, you know, before too long. We won't be able to see this. Um, so you can see Crews are out there doing their best to remove all of this and just kind of assess the situation. Um, I, I briefly want to come back here because I want to talk about where the storm is now. We've got people probably wondering, okay, what's going on here now? Well, uh, our tornado warned storm Again, north of Weldon now, uh, going to be crossing uh, Highway 54, heading towards the Farmer City area. The Weather Service has not continued um, the tornado warning here just yet into uh, uh, further into uh, the DeWitt County area there just yet. But we're going to watch that. And then we have the other storm that's kind of coming there west of Decatur. Now it's going to be kind of over towards Niantic and Harristown. That is an area of concern right along I-72, right along I-72 at this moment is where that concern is. It looks like a little update uh, to that warning there. So the warning we had also down into Christian County, no longer in effect. That's good news. We still have the one here into western portions of Macon County. And then obviously the one up here um, into DeWitt County that has rotation associated with it. And the concern there does come there and right along 54 uh, south of Parnell and Farmer City is where we've got uh, that. Uh, the National Weather Service uh, has again, let's see, we're getting some reports of rotation that is on that storm near Niantic Okay, confirmed. I'm, I'm just reading some of this here. So I'm going to come back over because it does look like that they they, they do have some confirmation um, on this storm here near Niantic. So this is starting to become uh, another higher level of concern because uh, I believe we might actually have another tornado here on the ground with this storm um, between Niantic and Harristown. Uh, that rotation is uh, showing up uh, pretty clearly there. And so the, the spotter reports uh, coming into us here concerning that storm. This is going to be again completely different from the one that was down near Moroa. This is a, a different storm, uh, but it is one that is still showing the signs of rotation on it as it goes to the north into the east. So if you're in Harristown, you definitely need to be in your tornado safe spot, uh, lowest level of your home uh, that you can get, uh, center part of your house. Again, I know when you look at this polygon, see this purple colored area? That's a very large area, but I gotta tell you right now, as it sits, um, Decatur, you look to be okay because if you look at it, so here's our storm and it's kind of shrunk in size a little bit. So if you kind of take this polygon, they could almost even split it in half because um, I think that the southern part of this, you're okay, obviously in your booty and, and Elwin and whatnot. Uh, Still be on the lookout here on the northwest side of Decatur, on the west side of Decatur here, and then definitely near Harristown. And right along 72 is where that rotation is still located. Um, right there on 72 is where that is. Um, south and west of Harristown, you're looking at it right there, okay? Between Niantic and Harristown, um, still some definite rotation on this. Um, we're, we're, we're keeping a close eye on that storm and of the damage that uh, did occur near Moroa uh, you know, just uh, you know, a half an hour ago as a tornado did roll across. We saw it live on the air here on WCIA. And now we're seeing some of the, uh, the damage pictures, lots of crew uh, that have been out there trying to, uh, uh, to manage and, and kind of you know, see what is going on, clear some of the debris from the area here. Um, so there's your storm into Western Macon County. Let's come back up here now to Farmer City 
with our other storm because now you're going to start to get some of the heavy rainfall there, possibly a little bit of hail. And again, a brief tornadic circulation with these could develop at any moment and I'm still seeing some signs of their rotation here. So let's come back over to uh, basically you're going to look at the the colors in this here which show us what the winds are doing and so we're starting to see some of that rotation again and here it is going to be south of Fullerton crest over 48 and so we're going to have to monitor that carefully. Uh, it's going to be south of uh, uh, the uh, Parnell area and lifting to the north and east. So Farmer City, just I know you're technically not in that warning, uh, but just to be on the safe side, I would go ahead and uh, and seek shelter there in the Farmer City area. Uh, we've got some more video that we would like to share with you, and you can see that here. Um, that is a look. Is that is that from uh, is that a viewer? Is that is that from earlier with uh, with Jacob or not? Um, so that viewer video there. Okay, viewer video uh, near Mount Pulaski at around 4.10 p.m. Uh, I believe Kelsey um, shot that. You can see a clear uh, funnel there all the way to the ground. And uh, where we had that tornado, that was again near Mount Pulaski. That was earlier uh, tonight. So we've, we've had you know, con confirmations of tornadoes uh, near Maroa, near Mount Pulaski, uh, the latest one uh, that has been near Niantic. And so a lot of people, you know, sending in some of these videos and seeing this. And now we've got damage that uh, crews are, are, are out there assessing. Um, again, is this kind of clip the northwest side of town? But I got to tell you, we're not done here because these storms are still rotating a little bit. If you're in Harristown right now, Definitely taking shelter on the west side of Decatur there, right along I-72 as it kind of curves around is something that uh, we're going to want to be watching in, th in this area right here because this is this is where some of the rotation is. So this would kind of come up there and maybe eventually down the line, Forsyth, be on the lookout, but definitely there between uh, as you get kind of in the loop there along Highway 70 or on, on I-72 there, you're going to want to watch out for that storm there. And again, the, the two different cells that we're watching, uh, the one in uh, northern portions of Macon, uh, or I should say western portions of Macon County, and now coming into Farmer City. And I just want to keep showing you this storm because I know the Weather Service, they've not continued the warning to the north and east here, but it's about to get loud there. I want to show you something else. Um, the lightning uh, with this, has we've not had a ton of lightning on, on these storms, which isn't great at nighttime because now we start to lose the... Uh, the, the daylight and then all we have to go by are, are, is, is something lighting up the sky. Obviously that would be lightning. And so there's not a ton of lightning on these. There's a few little uh, strikes that are showing up. But now that storm is right on top of Farmer City. As I look at it, some rotation still located south and west of town there. Um, south and west of town, there's still a little bit of that rotation. We're going to see if the weather service continues this warning. It looks like they have not. So that tornado warning that was in effect, no longer in effect for DeWitt County. Uh, they did not extend it there. But uh, I can tell you, we're still seeing something in there. There's still something. And I'm going to switch this back over again to the velocity because what I can tell here, okay, we're looking at uh, some of these colors here, south and west of town. And I think we're going to get another uh, updated scan on this here in just a second. I still think there's something um, to monitor and just kind of carefully watch here before too long um, if, if, because this could spin up. I just, I just want to be on the safe side on this here. If you're in Farmer City right now, um, I know the warning is not in effect, uh, but I just, I just want to kind of watch this area carefully because this is one of those things where we go from, again, you don't have anything and then that tornado quickly uh, does develop. So we've got that co confirmation uh, from earlier. Again, notice how that tornado warning, see that whole purple polygon area? The storm itself is starting to move out of that, that polygon. So largely, you know, Decatur and Booty, you guys are good. You're, you guys are in the clear, at least with this storm here, but we're watching this now as it gets out of Harristown and gonna pass there between Warrensburg and Harristown and eventually could come down the line here towards uh, Forsyth. So we're gonna watch that area there. Um, with that, there was just a report that we have got, uh, we had a tornado with this just about uh, 15 minutes ago. Um, and uh, Adam, you got some information over there uh, with yeah, us here? Just, oh, okay, sorry, gotcha. Sorry about that. No, you're good. I, um, so we've got several locations here we're still watching. Good news is they have, they've let that storm 
uh, not continue the warning into DeWitt County, which is good. But all of these are still something to look out for. Here's another one kind of west of Hayworth. Uh, they're going to have to keep a close eye on just a lot of activity that is out there right now. Um, let's see. I know Jacob is out there. Let's, let's see if we can't uh, talk to Jacob there again. Uh, he's uh, looks like they got some workers there. Jacob, what are they, what are they working on there? It looks like they're next to a propane tank or something over there, some kind of tank. Yeah, Kevin, uh, we're at that farm that was on top of the hill and our uh, watching crews here, the F Maroa Fire Department is on scene and they've got their cr trucks up here. If you look, they're starting to move some equipment, it appears. I think there might be a tank back there. I'll zoom in on that. I'm not sure if they're trying to, it looks like that propane tank got tipped over. I don't think it's leaking though. That's good news here, but uh, they're going to try and flip that in the right side. To the left here, a stock trailer. These are 20, 30 foot trailers here flipped upside down. And then behind the back of there, there's actually a vehicle of some sort that has been flipped upside down entirely. Uh, you can see here that if you remember that power line that had some debris uh, when we looked not towards the houses, but the other direction, there's that there, some other pools that are down. This right here in front of me, this is the foundation of those silos. We saw two silos go up and these are them. Uh, they ended up on US 51. US 51 back open for traffic at this point. And then in the background there, I think you can still make it out. There's the shed that took a direct hit, uh, been destroyed by this confirmed tornado that we showed you live. We saw those images earlier of that tornado hitting this farm. This is what it looks like in the aftermath. And uh, thankfully, I did talk to a homeowner just down the road. This is a farm only, no homeowner, no homestead here, just some outbuildings and silos. No one was here at the time, just damage at this particular spot. But you can see them. Uh, looks like that's a diesel tank there. That they are putting upright uh, from the tornado that flipped it over here in Maroa. Uh, Kevin, we're going to keep an eye on that storm to the south. I think that's going to stay away from us if from what I understand I know you talked about South Decatur perhaps uh, I just want to check in and make sure that I'm still okay up here in Moreau or if I need to start heading to the south to catch that storm let me know your thoughts uh, in the meantime we're just gonna stay here we've been recording this as well and we'll have this footage available for uh, the newsroom to take advantage of Kevin live in Moreau we'll send it back to you all right uh, thanks Jacob for the uh, images there as uh, they uh, continue to uh, kind of secure things. Obviously, anytime you're dealing with any type of gas and, and stuff like that in those tanks, you're uh, obviously going to be uh, extra cautious on some of that there um, as well. But uh, pretty amazing there. Jacob, we can pan, pan back over. I, I want folks to, uh, um, if you pan back over to where that uh, the grain bin was, the, the foundation of it. I mean, that's that's, you know, it's pretty amazing the, the, the shot that you had there of, of the grain bin on the, where that was located. And again, we showed you that earlier where it landed on, on Highway 51 is where some of that to metal was. But uh, I don't know if Jacob can still hear us or not, but if he can. Um, okay, gotcha. Okay, um, so again, that, just amazing, that tornado. It was small in nature, okay? This this affected, you know, a farm there, but largely missed Moroa and the town there, and but only missed it by about a mile or so as that came across. Uh, Jacob, for your um, sake,